Um, we have six fields here. We've hosted international games there. It was built to sort of host international games. In its heyday, everybody gathering here, this was this is what you did in the, as a rugby player and community. You came and you met people from other teams. Rugby players from across the GTA are preparing to say goodbye to a facility that's become known as the linchpin for holding the community together. Back in 2021, Fletcher's Fields was sold to the city of Markham and the final games will be played later this month. Steve Hall and Pat Hodgins run the facility, telling us it opened in 1966 and since has become something of a hub for the game unlike any other facility in the region. This place was full um, continually. Parking was required on some of the fields out on the roads. People park on the street and climb the fence to get in. Hodgins explains up to and through the 90s, rugby was known more for its social component and popular with amateur players who would pack massive beer halls post-game. But says since the mid-2000s, the game has taken on a more professional vibe. Less emphasis on the after party and more on the sport itself and the facilities. Those games started to go to BMO Field, started to go to Langford out in BC. Rugby, Rugby Canada built a facility out there. And then of course, not so long ago, COVID hit. The extended restrictions, another blow, effectively saddling Fletcher's fields with debt. So we basically had no rugby for two years, no revenue for two years, fixed costs. And that was probably the, you know, the, the straw that broke the camel's back. A strategic review was conducted to determine what next. Including looking at redeveloping it, uh, bringing in other government money and other, other money to redevelop it. And the practicality was that it was better to invest those resources locally for each of the shareholders. The money from the sale will pay the debt and help each of the five clubs who called the fields home invest in new facilities and programming closer to their players and the hope is they'll grow. But now each will be smaller and far apart. The days of having a hub to anchor a community across a great distance are over. You know, you had, you know, multiple clubs socializing after games and a lot of inter intermingling, and, and that's all going to be lost as we all go our separate ways. So the community loses out from that perspective. My first game was up at Fletcher's Fields, and it was, uh, it was magical. Barb DiNardo got her rugby started the fields and says while she understands the practical decision, she agrees something is also being lost. There's six fields up there and so and when it when they were all full, you'd be you, you, people would stop by and watch your game or watch the next person's game. And when you were making it to your game or making it to the next game, you'd walk down the field and you'd meet so many people that you'd known or you'd played with years before. The final games will take place on September 28th. In Markham, David Zura, City News.